So right now I'm outside Barnet Test Centre and I'm going to show you how to do one of the test routes. As you can see, I'm parked on a main road right now. That's because in Barnet you can't park in the car park when you first start. You have to park on the main road and that's where the test begins. So you need to be really careful here. Right now it looks kind of empty on the behind me. So I'm just going to see what it's like and then the examiner will say to you, okay, when you're ready, uh, drive on please. So start the, start the engine and then do your checks, get your car into, into gear, do your checks. So in terms of the order, you don't really have to be too particular with it. As long as you make sure you look around properly before you move off, just before you move off, it can do it any, any, any order really. But the best order to do it is, is to get ready, look around and then put a signal on and then when it's safe, move off. So you notice that I looked around but it's still not safe. So I'm just going to check one more time over my, over my right shoulder before I move off. So right now I can still see it's busy. So there's no need for me to move right now. Looking in my mirror. And so the person behind, I don't know if they're moving or not. Okay, they're not letting me out, so I'm just gonna keep waiting. So if you're not sure, don't, don't go. Just uh, wait for someone to really slow down. Like this van is slowing down loads. Thank you, sir. And remember, you don't have to say thank you to anybody. Um, if you feel comfortable to do that, then do it. But if not, don't, don't worry about it. Sometimes the examiner will do it for you. Sometimes they don't, and it's not a big deal. I'm just going to go slowly here and let this person turn. Because there's, there's traffic anyway, so there's no need for me to rush through there. Yeah. So when you're in these kind of situations, don't rush. Take your time. Someone's first gear because uh, everyone's going kind of slow, just around 10 miles an hour or even less than that. And I can see there's a traffic light up ahead as well, and it's red. I'm going to check my mirror and aim towards the left side, and it's going to green, so I'm just going to start going into second gear now because by the time I get there, hopefully everyone would have moved. Just giving them time to do that. Yeah, keeping an eye on that light, make sure that it stays green. Checking my mirror in case I have to stop, but once I get here, even if it starts changing, I'm not going to stop because I've gone past the point of no return. Here we're going to follow signs for the A1000. So I can see in the distance, the sign says to use the right hand lane. So I'm just going to check my mirror and move over to the right. Once I'm here, I'll cancel my signal. Yeah, the light is changing. I can see a keep clear sign on the floor there. Uh, there's enough space behind that car, so I'm going to keep going forward and aim to be behind them. But if there wasn't enough space, I would stop behind uh, before this uh, keep clear sign. Right now I'm in third. Go back into first. Don't forget to change your gears, guys. If you forget to change your gears, especially on a hill like this, it's going to be very difficult for you because once you start, to, once you try to move off in third, the car's going to stall. And I can see this lane should be going left, and this lane should be going straight. So anyone in that lane should be turning left. But you never know. So what you need to do in this kind of situation, just have a quick glance of your left mirror. Make sure there's no one trying to cut in front of you. And then I'm going to aim straight for the left lane because there's two lanes again now. So aim straight for the left lane. If I ended up in that lane, I'll just signal left and move over to this left lane when it's safe. So it's 30 miles an hour right now. So on my dashboard, it's showing 30 miles an hour. On the speedometer that you're seeing, it might show a bit less, but on my, that, on my dashboard, it's showing uh, 30 miles an hour. So that's what I'm doing. And then approaching this uh, stationary traffic, checking my mirror, using off the gas. So this is, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's quite hilly here, guys, yeah? So I don't want to do this hill in, in uh, third gear going this speed, so I'm going to re reduce it to second, just to make it easier on the car. And I see there's a bus up ahead as well, so he might, the bus might stop, which would then cause me to have to stop or change lanes. So I'm already thinking about that. And then this car's turning, so I'm just gonna slow down, give them time to do that. And then once they turn, I'll carry on. So a lot of learners make the mistake of thinking that that car is just gonna move out the way quickly. They don't always do that. So take, give them time. So here the examiner might say, uh, we're gonna go towards the left, or we're gonna go towards the right. So right now we're gonna, the road's gonna split into two, and we're gonna follow it towards the left. So I'm just gonna, I'm already in the correct lane. So I don't need to change, worry about changing lanes. Uh, looks like there's a red light there, but that's not for us, that's for that side. You see, it's only on that side. If it was on this side as well, with the line, 
then I'd be concerned. Like here, see there's two lights and there's a line also. Then I know it's for us, but because there's only on that side, it wasn't for us. And also there was no stop line as well. Okay, going into first, because the traffic light is changing. So that way I can keep moving smoothly. Into second. You notice I'm not trying to keep up with this van, I'm just doing my own drive. Uh, don't fall into the trap of trying to keep up with everybody. Do your own thing, do your own drive. As long as you're doing a good pace. So remember, some people drive really fast, so you don't want to be trying to like keep up with them the whole time. Drive at your own pace. Next roundabout, we're turning right. So I'm just going to check my center mirror, check my right mirror, and then I'm going to signal right. I'll get into second as I approach this. But it's looking like it's busy, so I'm going to go into first. There is a car on the right, but he's turning that way, so I don't need to worry about them too much. Then I can carry on. Check my mirrors as I'm doing this. And then signal left, because I'm next roundabout, I'm turning left here. Checking the right. So remember, it's two separate roundabouts, so don't treat them like one. Check both of them individually to make sure that it's definitely safe. Here, I'm going to pull over on the left. So mirror, mirror, signal left. I see a nice safe space there, so I clutch down all the way, braking gently, turning. Once I get to like here, still gently braking. You see that way, I don't have to brake hard at the end. That way it's a nice smooth stop. Okay, so now, sometimes here the examiner will get you to do an independent driving section, which is what we're gonna do. So they'll say at the end of the road, turn left, and then at the roundabout, take the second exit, and then at the next roundabout, take the first exit, which is what we're gonna do. So at the end of the road, turning left, first roundabout, we're going straight second exit, and then second roundabout, we're turning left first exit. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be quite a lot of, uh, it's quite a lot of distance between those uh, roundabouts and turns, so you have to remember what they've said. If you don't remember, you can ask them. Yeah, it's not a, they're not gonna keep it, like, it's not a secret. It's not a memory test. Just ask them if you're not sure, but ask them way before they turn. So I'm just remembering the end of the road, we're turning left. For some reason on this section, when people hear that, they, they try to turn the next left. Maybe because they think this is the end of the road. I don't know. When I look at it now, maybe, maybe that's why actually. I've never thought about it, but it does look like the end of the road, but it's not here. The end is when you can't go any further. So right now we can still carry on going forward. So this is not the end of the road. Keeping it nice and slow. I see a sign for 30 miles an hour here. And don't fall into the trap of seeing 30 and then start zooming down here. Because it's still narrow, you don't want to be going too fast here. I'm just barely over 20 miles an hour right now. And it's a good pace to be at this on this kind of road. Especially when you can't see around the corner there. And we've got uh, width restriction I can see, so I'm going to reduce my speed nice and early. Don't wait until you get there to start reducing your speed. And I'm definitely going to use first gear for this. Because it's quite narrow. Checking my mirrors to see there's anybody next to me or behind me. Very, very slowly through here, checking both sides. And then once I'm through, then I can turn. Some people turn way too early there. They turn right too early and uh, end up damaging the back of the car. So be wary of that. So what was, the, what was the direction again? It was left, wasn't it? Left at the end, so I'm gonna check my mirror. Mirror, signal left, make sure I go past that road first before I signaled. Yeah, I can't really see the right properly, so I'm going to go into first gear so I can check it properly. There's a bunch of parked cars there. I'm just going to creep out slowly now. It's looking good. Checking the zebra crossing as well, make sure there's no one crossing. And then I can carry on. So it was 30 miles an hour the last sign I saw. And this road is a bit wider, so I can go a bit faster here. And I'm also looking out for any more speed limit signs. And I can see one in the bushes there, which is telling us that this is a national speed section. So, on this kind of road, guys, what's the national speed limit? What is the speed limit? How fast can I go? Put it down in the comments below. And let's see who's right. How, how fast can I go on this kind of road? So, there are people in front of me that are not going as fast as they can be on the, as they can on this road. So I'm not going to tailgate them or get too close to them. Right now I'm doing just under 50, so I'm going to get into fifth gear. 
and I'm remembering as well my next instruction, which was at the next roundabout, we're going to go straight second exit. So I'm trying to remember that. On here, you don't want to go too slowly when it's clear. You also want to go, you don't want to go too fast on narrow sections or on or bends. I can see the car in front of the van braking already, so I'm going to start reducing my speed too. And then the van is braking also. So you see, that's what you do. You don't just rely on the vehicle right in front of you. Look at the vehicles ahead of them as well. Whatever they do, that's going to affect the vehicle in front of you. And then it's going to, in turn, it's going to affect you as well. So the car started braking, then I started reducing my speed because I know it's going to affect me at some point. I'm still in fifth. I can leave it in fifth for quite a while. Now the car's starting to shake a little bit so I can get into second because the car, the traffic is rolling to a slow speed. If it was completely stationary, I can leave it in fifth and go straight to first, but because they're rolling for a while at slow speeds, I can go to second and then now I can go into first. I, I saw a temporary light up ahead, so I'm just going to go into first, into neutral, handbrake on, and then chill out, rest, rest my legs for a bit because I know the temporary lights can be quite long sometimes. So just, if you can, just put your car into neutral, handbrake on, and rest your feet for a bit. And once these people start moving, or once I see the brake lights come off, then I can start getting ready. So it's quite nice around there. Don't get too distracted though. There's lots of beautiful fields, flowers everywhere, butterflies. But remember, you're still on the driving test, so stay focused. Keeping an eye on that light. Once I go past this point, I'm not really going to stop because if I stop somewhere here, it will block the whole... Uh, section here so I'll just carry on anyway so it was straight second exit at this roundabout so I'm thinking about what lane I'm gonna use if there are multiple lanes or not because I don't know I know this roundabout but if you don't know what roundabout is you need to be thinking about what lane are you gonna use um, where you're gonna position yourself as you approach it and also give yourself space don't get too close to the vehicle in front especially like this one so I can see on the floor what's what's going on now I can see there's only one lane I'm going to approach it slowly, checking the right hand side, it's looking good. Now once I go past the first exit, check my mirrors and signal left. And then cancel my signal. And the last speed limit sign I saw was that national speed limit sign. Which I'm sure you, you guys got it correct in the comments. Which is 60 miles an hour. Again, I'm not doing 60 because there's vehicles in front of me that are not going that fast. I don't want to get too close to them at this, at this high speeds anyway. Always good to see what's behind you as well. Every now and again, check your mirror, check your side mirrors, going around this bend. And then the next instruction was turning left first exit at the next roundabout. can't really see in front of these bushes but now I can see the van that was ahead of me they're slowing down too lots of uh, signs telling you or lots of markings telling you to slow down and I know I'm going first exit here so I'm just gonna keep to the left hand lane and let people know about signaling left that I'm going towards the left first exit uh, first gear or neutral let's go neutral handbrake on Remember, it's completely up to you. Don't feel like you have to do it a certain way. Whichever way you're comfortable with. Most people are comfortable with leaving it in gear and then wait and then going when it's uh, clear. Some people prefer to go into neutral and then getting ready. So like now going into neutral, then I can go into first gear, handbrake down, check around, and then move off. If you're comfortable doing it that way, then do it that way. So this is the first exit on this roundabout. see it's a dual carriageway right now so it was still national speed limit because the speed hasn't changed since uh since we came off that road so on the dual carriageway when it's national speed what's the speed guys leave that in the comments so i'm you see i'm picking up my speed i'm going faster than i was in the, on the single carriageway because you're allowed to on this kind of road when it's national speed
put the AC on, it's a bit hot. By my feet. Yeah. So on this kind of road, it's 70 miles an hour is the maximum speed limit, guys, yeah? So right now I'm just doing 70. I'm not sure what it's saying on the speedometer that you can see. So I can't see that. I can only see what I can see on my dashboard. And my speedometer is saying exactly 70 miles an hour. I can see a lorry in the middle lane and vans and lorries in the left lane. So I'm going to start reducing my speed a bit because these guys are not going 70 miles an hour. And I don't want to get too close to them. Yeah, if, don't, don't forget, it's not like, it's, speed limit is 70. Doesn't mean you have to do 70 the whole time, even if it's busy. Sometimes you've got to slow down a bit, like now. Then here the examiner will say, follow signs for Bora Mud. This is the route that we're taking. Sometimes they get you to go, carry on going straight on, but now we're following signs for Bora Mud. So normally I would probably want to overtake, these guys are going kind of slow, but if you're following signs, sometimes you might even try to overtake, then the examiner will say, actually, no, stay in this lane. It's better to stay in this lane because, you see, Boring mode is to the left, the next left, so I don't want to go into that lane. So I'm going to check my mirrors and signal, let people know that I'm coming off the next exit. And here, I want to go straight into the slip road. I don't want to be hanging around in the lane. So as soon as it opens up, I'm going to go into it. And I can see there's a sharp bend, so I'm going to start braking. And let's go into third for this. I'll go into third gear. Bring my clutch up smoothly. Yeah, fifth gear wouldn't be good for that section there. Going around this bend, I'm taking the next left now, following signs for Barnet. Mirror, mirror, signal. Do you want to take this in third? So I'm going to reduce it to second, bring my clutch up, and then I can see the speed limit there, 30 miles an hour. Whenever you're turning into a new road, check the new speed limit. Sometimes there's no new speed limit, but other times there are, so make sure you check it. And then we've got... Uh, a little reminder there in case you've missed the first one telling us that it's 30 miles an hour and because you've just been on a fast road be really careful with your speed you won't even notice that you're going 40 miles an hour by mistake sometimes because you've just come off a 70 mile an hour road once you start doing 30 now this feels like you're doing 10 miles an hour but it's, I'm doing 30 when you look in there yeah so be really conscious about how fast you're going think to yourself oh I've just come off the motorway or dual carriageway I was doing 70 miles an hour before now I need to be really careful with my speed. Tell yourself this, because honestly, it's so easy to like not realize you're doing 30 miles an hour, or you know, sometimes you'll be doing 40 without realizing it. Especially if other people are going fast. So I've got a car behind me now coming up, coming up to me quite fast. That might put me off into thinking I'm going too slow, but I know I'm not, because I'm doing 30 miles an hour on my dashboard there. Following the road around, checking around as well to see what's going on. Always have a good picture of what's going on behind you. Easing off the gas a bit for this bend, and then back on the gas gently, though. Easing off a bit when the bend gets a bit sharp, and then when it opens up, a bit more gas. I'm still remembering the last speed limit that I saw, which was 30. I think this is something that a lot of learners struggle with in terms of remembering what the speed limit was or knowing what the speed limit is. We're going to turn left here, so mirror, mirror, signal left. What you need to start doing, if you, if you find yourself struggling with the speed or knowing what a speed limit is, start just saying out loud every speed limit sign that you see. That's going to train you to recognise all the speed limit signs. It's looking good on the right. So I can start moving out. Still 30 miles an hour because I didn't see any other signs as I joined this road, which means it's still the same as before. And 
then I'm gonna take the next road not this one because it's the dead end I'm gonna take this road on the right so mirror mirror signal right I'm in third gear right now so I'm just gonna reduce my speed I'm thinking about that white car coming down the road I'm going in second as I get here I'm gonna wait for them yeah I'm gonna wait for them to go past check my mirror and then make my turn never there's never any reason to rush guys especially if you're not sure about whether you should go or not just wait it's much easier that way it's much safer we're gonna pull up on the left mirror mirror yeah, secure the car it's uh, very hilly down here now so it's, it should be easy to move off we're gonna drive on again looking all around Checking that blind spot, it's looking good. One more blind spot check and then we're off while I'm checking that mirror as well. The idea is to have an idea of what's going on the whole time behind you. So as you're moving off, you should see anybody that's coming into, into the road, anybody that's come out of the driveway, all that kind of stuff. You should always be aware of them. Just kind of gonna turn this off now because it's a bit quiet and I'm gonna open the windows. Keep it nice and slow. Use my brake, because we're going downhill. You're probably thinking, why, is he, why am I using my brake? It's because we're going downhill there. And um, if I didn't brake there, the speed would be too fast to go around that island. But now that's it's getting a bit flatter and there's uh, a bit more open, I can gain third and uh, go a bit faster little reminder there telling us that it's still 30 miles an hour got a sign telling us to slow down because there's school kids but uh, it's summer holidays right now so but sometimes schools have school camps don't they like summer camps so you still want to be careful there let's go slowly through here braking the whole time gently though just, breaking, just bringing my speed down gradually by braking nice and early and smoothly. Here we're going to turn left at the end, so mirror, mirror, signal left. And get into first gear as I approach so I can check the road properly. It's looking good, so I can come out. And another reminder, 30 miles an hour. So trust me, if you're struggling with speed, just play that game where you're saying it out loud all the time and then you will see how many speed times you will see all the time. You won't miss them ever again. Okay, another sign for slow. I'm gonna check to my right here. So now it's got 20 miles an hour now. The speed limit has changed back to 20. It's gonna keep it 20 miles an hour or less. So this is gonna be quite tricky because remember we've just been doing like 70 before and, and then 30 and then 50. So to do 20 now, sometimes learners find it quite challenging, especially if there's somebody behind you quite close. But you just have to remember the whole time that this is a, a 20 mile an hour road and you're doing the right thing by doing the right speed limit and not to worry too much about the person behind you. So it's quite hard to do 20 miles an hour, so keep looking at the speed limit every now and again, but don't stir it too long. So look down and then look up again. Your main attention should be on the road and then every now and again glance at your speed. See in the distance there, there's a bit of a jam by the width restriction. So I'm gonna approach it slowly. I will use first gear again for this. I'm gonna swing a bit towards the left so I can line up my car properly here. Because if I came in just straight like that, it would have been, would have been a weird angle. And nice and easy. Check my right mirror to go around the parked car. Still 20 miles an hour, right there it could be easy to forget and then start speeding up to catch up with those guys. But I remembered it was still 
uh, 20 miles an hour. So when you're, when you're doing your test or whenever you're driving in general, if you're looking at people behind you, don't try to look at their face or to try, oh, they're angry at me. Just look at the vehicle to see what it's doing rather than trying to find out what the, how, how the person is feeling because then if you do that too much, you're going to concentrate on the wrong thing and then you make more mistakes that way. Yeah, just focus on where the vehicle is, not what the person is trying to feel or how angry or upset they are about you going slowly or going at the right speed limit. The bus is slowing down. I thought he was stopping, but uh, they're not. We've got a police car there. They're coming out, so I'm just going to reduce my speed a little bit. We've got zebra crossing, and it's looking clear. So I can see in the distance there's a sign saying 30 miles an hour so that means here it's still 20 so don't try to speed up before the sign otherwise you're then breaking the speed limit. So you notice here the bus has stopped kind of far away from that car but he's also got his right signal on. This is to let us know that he's not stopping at a bus stop to let pedestrians or to let passengers on because usually when buses stop somewhere like this or far away from other traffic People assume that they're at the bus stop, so they try to go around them. So if you see the bus's signal to the right like that, don't try to go around them. It just means they're there because maybe if they go around the corner, now they're going to be blocking up the, the road. So keep an eye on the signals before you try to go around. Here we're going to turn right at the end of the road. So mirror, mirror, signal, keeping an eye on that light, make sure it's still green before I go past the line. And it was. Check my mirror on both sides. And then now I can carry on. So remember it's 30 here, but the, the bus is in front, so I'm not going to go too fast. So here's two lanes going into one. So I'm just going to check my right mirror as I go through this junction and merge into the middle just like that. I'm going to take the next road on the left. So mirror, mirror, signal left. Reducing my speed nice and early and then check my mirror before I turn. And easy does it. To a bend here, so I'm going to go really slowly. Maybe even use first. I think I might use first because it's so sharp and narrow here. I'm going to use first in case anybody else is there. And then I'm going to pull up on the left before that red car. Mirror, mirror, signal left. I'm going to pull up before the red car, not too close to it. Checking my mirror again, straightening up, and then stopping there. So here, we're going to do a, a parallel park. So the examiner will say something like, uh, when it's safe, I'd like you to pull up beside that car and then reverse into the space behind it. You can use up to two car lengths to finish this manoeuvre. And um, if there are any driveways, you can finish blocking them, but don't drive onto the driveway. Which is what we're going to do now. So look around, get my car ready, look around, make sure it's safe. I don't need to put a signal on here because there is someone there coming down the road now. So instead of going out and, and blocking this person, I'm just going to wait here, let them go past first. And once they've gone, then I can start my manoeuvre. I'm going to check again over my shoulder, make sure it's safe. And then get positioned like here and go straight into reverse so people know what I'm doing. I'm going to show you one and one handed steering technique. So I'm going to put my arm here, look around. This is something really comfortable for a lot of people. And just use, my, use one arm to do this parking exercise. Looking everywhere as I'm doing this. I can even stop for a second. Have a look. Yeah, I'm just freestyling it right now. Just looking at the mirror, gauging where the car is, 
looking all around it now. I'm getting a bit closer, so I'm going to turn a bit more towards that side. And then this car is going to go past me, so I'm going to wait for him to go past. Choke on my shoulder again. It's looking straight now, so I'm going to straighten out my wheels and stop there. Okay, so that's one way you can do a parallel park. You can do it however you like, as long as you get the car from there to here safely while looking around and well controlled. You can do it how you like. You don't need to do like reference points. If that's how you find it easier, then do it that way. But you can do it your own way. And sometimes people find it easier to just kind of turn left here, turn a bit right there, turn left there. Okay. All right, let's drive on now. So if you feel if you feel like you're too close to this car, what you can do, we've finished the maneuver already, but you can go back a bit now. Some examiners will tell you that you can go back a bit, but some of them won't. So what I'll do, I'm just going to reverse back a bit just to create some space between us and the vehicle in front, just make it easier. If you feel comfortable moving out from there, then do it, but um, I wouldn't risk it if you're too close. There's no point risking, you're not gonna get bonus points from, for doing that, yeah? So you might as well make it as simple as you can for yourself. So like now, I'm just gonna check my mirror, check with my shoulder as well. Coming out really slowly with my clutch control, and then easing off the clutch, and we're taking the next right here, so mirror, mirror signal right i'm going to position myself towards the left side first because i don't want to be on the wrong side before i turn yeah i'm on my correct side and then i can make my turn and then slowly through here still in second gear and then at the end i'm turning Turning right, so I'm gonna check my mirror, mirror, signal right. I'm gonna position myself to the right of this side of the road. In first gear. Check both sides, looking good. Yep, so I'm gonna make my move. And I'm gonna pull up on the left here. Normally, You'd go into the car park, but we're not allowed in there because we haven't, we don't have the key anyway to get in there. So I'm going to pull over here. And this is where the examiner or the examiner will tell you inside the test center that you passed. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want more like this, make sure you comment and let me know or let me know what other test centers you want me to cover as well. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.